Hello there, this is Fed BinaryOptions.com and we are continuing our Binary Options Academy project, moving on with technical analysis based on different indicators and oscillators. There are a lot of projects here on our Binary Options Academy, um, a lot of projects involving um, indicators and how to interpret and trade indicators or how to trade binary options based on indicators with overbought, oversold levels and so on. We touched here the MACD, the RSI, the, let's say most popular indicators, but I would like to focus today on one of the indicators that are not that common, but that are extremely useful, especially in trading binary options. I'm talking about the ultimate indicator or the ultimate oscillator. Now, the name already tells you that this being an oscillator, it should be found under the overlap studies, or under the momentum indicator, sorry, and then we go under the letter U, and this is the ultimate oscillator. As you can see, the ultimate oscillator takes into account three different time periods, one, two, and three, and the setups uh, uh, take let's say the, the setup takes into account double the time for each period for example this is seven periods 14 and then 28 now of course you can change this one as you as you wish but I would prefer to leave them as uh, as they are as the default settings are really good in this case now you can move you can change the color for the trend up and trend down but this is not the purpose of this analysis let's make it just a bit um, a bit more visible and apply it on the screen make it more visible like this and this is the ultimate oscillator now remember what an oscillator represents an oscillator mim mimics price but it should be its moves sh its moves should be more important than the ones that price made because of the fact that takes into that the uh, indicator or the oscillator in this case takes into account different time periods or more candles while price is referring only to the uh, the level in front of it here the oscillator takes into account different periods um, back in uh, back in time now this is the ultimate oscillators these are the time periods 7 14 and 28 and this is the value here as you can see it travels between the zero level and go something like 100 but a um, normal range would be somewhere between um, I don't know 30 or 25 and all the way up towards the 65 or 70 these are normal ranging conditions of course this may differ depending on the currency pair that you are trading because if you are trading the, a pair that is uh, traveling a lot that has a, uh, a bigger um, average true range like it is the uh, euro and Australian dollar for example or like it is the great Britain pound Swiss franc those pairs are traveling are traveling quite fast then you might consider you might consider uh, levels to be touched more but in the case of the euro US dollar for example this being the one hour chart what we should do here is to mark the middle of the range so we want to edit the indicator and editing the indicator will add the level here and the middle of the range would be 50 let's make it 50 and let's make it a bit bigger like this and applying here so this is the middle of the range as you can see the 50 level is being pierced on and on and on and on now how to trade binary options or how to interpret this oscillator as um, what we have here is not an oscillator that travels with price I mean price take a look here price goes to the downside oscillator to the downside and it respects the ranges but not that much so again how to interpret this oscillator well stay tuned for the second part as we will use divergences for trading binary options based on the ultimate oscillator thank you and bye bye